over the last little while, Logitech has introduced what they're calling their Delta Zero sensor technology and some of their new mice, which promises excellent performance. But what exactly is a Delta Zero sensor? Today, we will take a look at the technology and science, yes, real science, behind the Delta Zero lineup or classification of sensors from Logitech. Now, normally when you're discussing the performance of a mouse, the first thing that usually comes up is the DPI or dots per inch or CPI or counts per inch, which are all effectively the same thing. This is the mouse's sensitivity or how many pixels it can register with one inch of physical mouse movement. So people will usually claim that the larger the, uh, <coughs> you know, DPI, the better. But this is not necessarily the case. Just because a mouse is more sensitive doesn't mean that it is more accurate. In fact, if you have a lousy sensor, a high DPI setting can multiply the errors that it was already making. So Logitech's engineers went through many different phases of development to design a Delta Zero sensor, which aims to have not only you know, acceptable DPI or CPI ratings, but also low speed accuracy accuracy, very little jitter, no acceleration, and excellent surface compatibility. So to start with, low speed accuracy and low jitter are easy to test. Simply take your mouse and move it as slowly as you can. A quality sensor will be able to pick up the very small movements and track accurately, whereas a low quality sensor will start jittering around. A large fast movement is easy to track and predict as there's a lot of information being picked up by the sensor. However, low speed accuracy is very important as you usually need to be the most precise when you're going the slowest. If you're moving the mouse slowly in something like Photoshop, that's where you'll notice if your current mouse is jittering. The next factor, acceleration is slightly more difficult to test, but it can be a major factor in especially gaming. Mouse acceleration will increase the speed of your cursor based on how fast you move your mouse. So instead of a one-to-one -one translation between your mouse movement on the desk and the mouse movement on the screen, jerking it fast could cause the cursor to snap to its location much further away, while a slow drag will let your cursor crawl to a much slower location even though you've moved it the same distance. Delta Zero sensors have no hardware acceleration built in so you can rest assured that your mouse will go exactly where you want it to every time. For users who do like mouse acceleration you can enable it in the software. Um, I should also mention that the issue is not limited to mouse acceleration, sometimes deceleration is an issue too. Lastly, surface compatibility uh, is a big deal for some people, isn't a big deal for others. For me personally, I use a black cloth mouse pad and I have really never had any issues with mouse tracking on it. But if you use the surface of your desk or if you use, uh, say for example, a mouse pad with graphics on it, being able to <laughs> rely on your mouse to track on that is not always a guarantee. So Logitech includes surface tuning on some of their mice, which helps to ensure that you get maximum accuracy and performance out of that Delta Zero sensor, regardless of what kind of a surface you're using on it. In practice, it's not always perfect, and I still do recommend that people use a nice uniform surface that's optimal for tracking, but, uh, you know, some people want a cool graphic on their mouse pad, so that's totally fine. I totally get that. At least this helps. So that's pretty much it. By addressing many factors, other, rather than just artificially raising the DPI on their mice to sell them better, Logitech aims to produce better gaming mice with their Delta Zero sensor concept. Consistency and predictability in the results of your movements are the foundation of how this all works. And I think that I, it's pretty safe to say that the G502 is the penultimate example of how well this technology works. This is an extremely well-regarded mouse. Other than being a little bit on the heavy side, it is absolutely fantastic. And I speak for at least two of the people in the room when I say that it is great. Thank you for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.